Hey guys, what's up? Hello and welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Shitaj aka The Rustic Wanderer. With this vlog, we are starting a new travel series. Um, and as you follow along the vlog, I'll reveal the destination where I'm headed. But for the moment, in my locality, as you can see, it's starting to get rainy, cloudy, chilly. Even though the past few days have been nice and sunny, but uh, yeah, it's getting cold now and it's time to escape this weather, um, hopefully in search for some better weather. So let's get started. So I am in my balcony trying to get some fresh air behind me. You can see I've done the laundry in preparation for the travel. And yeah, for the moment, the idea is to start cleaning the house, take out the trash and then go to the horse riding first. And then once I come back, I'll start packing and preparing for the trip. It's going to be about a week long trip. It's a long distance journey and the journey starts later in the evening. So I still have some time, um, although it's going to be a packed day. So I'll take you along with me as well. And yeah, let's begin by a bit of housekeeping first and follow along. All right, all done with housekeeping. Time to head out for the horse riding lesson. And it stopped raining as well. But the uh, views are quite nice this way. At least the, the walk is good with a nice fresh wind. Take a look at the view. So what you're seeing behind me is called Suam and Tivoli. It's like a summer amusement park and they have started putting up the swings. So in the summer season, they have some merry-go-rounds and some extra swings for people to enjoy uh, in the summer here. This is on the way to the farm. They already started setting it up. I guess it lasts for about a month or something like that in the summer season uh, when the weather is really nice and warm. So it's good for enjoyment for young kids and people with families with small children it's a nice amusement at that time so these two guys Vaino and that's Vekkuli the one that I was just petting, they'll be gone from here to another stable by the end of the month. So probably I won't see them for a while. But he's cute. He's my best friend. For now. Ever seen a mare scratch her own butt? Some wiggle wiggle. Hello. Hey, Gadi. Her butt scratches are still ongoing. Another mare being jealous. Typical chestnut. Hmm. Looks like we have a new horse on the farm. Looks like a Mustang. Two young boys. This guy's name is super funny. He's called Alu, which in Hindi actually means a potato. Hello, potato. Such a potato. On the topic of the new horses, I think we also have a freshen stallion. He stays here, one of the ponies left and he's taken over. He's currently in lesson, but I think I have some footage from the past. So I'll try to find that and overlay on the screen. Bye bye. Well, that was a bit of a fail. The riding lesson was actually cancelled today. So yesterday was a public holiday. Today is Friday and then there is weekend. So they kind of wanted to have a long weekend in Finland. So most of the Things today are kind of almost closed and the trainer had a busy day, so we cancelled the lesson. So now I'm going back, uh, gonna grab a snack or something and then start packing. Good thing is the trip is still on schedule. So I have two backpacks. I was just kind of wondering which of these should I bring with me. 
So I have this bigger one that I take for trips that are more than five days long. And then this is a smaller one that's uh, for a shorter trip. Again, I haven't been able to use this one for a while since I've just been uh, doing either very hyper local travel or not traveling at all throughout the pandemic. So I was also thinking maybe it's time to give it some fresh air and sunshine to so bring that one. But we'll see. Um, I guess the easiest way to decide is to put all the things in one place first and then see which of these bags is going to be able to fit them easily. So let's start stacking things up together and then we'll see which bag to take with us. So I finally decided to go with the bigger backpack. It's all packed and ready, just a few little bit items left outside. So I'll finish up the packing, uh, take a quick shower, and then head over on to the train station. Um, I don't suppose there's gonna be a lot to eat on the train, so I have some leftovers from last night, so I'm just gonna snack on them, and then maybe grab a muffin, a protein shake or something at the railway station if the mini kiosk is still open before boarding and then I'll see you on the train. Alright, so I, I guess I've already shown the route to the train station many times, I'm not going to be vlogging about that and anyways it's raining so I'll keep the GoPro safe inside but uh, I'll definitely see you at the train station. Okay, so all packed up and ready to go. It's been drizzling outside so it's a bit stuffy but anyways I'm out of here. See you at the train station. Well, made it to the train station. This is a different train. Mine is yet to come. Uh, but all the mini kiosks at the railway station were closed. So hopefully there will be a restaurant car on my train too. I'll try and take a walk and try and see if I could grab some snacks. It's mostly snacks, muffins, sandwiches, croissants, some tea, coffee kind of light snacks. There's no like proper restaurant on there. But yeah, I mean, it's still better than nothing. I have one fourth of a popcorn pack left. Maybe I'll use that. And then let's see how the journey goes. I'll tell you more about the train once I get on. So let me give you a mini room tour. This is a mini dressing cabinet with a water spout so for brushing the teeth or something. It has a nice big mirror. And then behind me are two bunks, top one, the bottom one so two people can easily fit in. And then underneath here is the space to keep the luggage, a space to sit I suppose. And that's about it. It's a nice and small kind of mini cabin nice for a night ride so this is going to be my home for the night and uh, they have two kinds of coaches like this so one also has a bathroom inside uh, and a shower and a washroom i suppose is all together and this one has a shared so you have to go outside your coach and find the communal washrooms and stuff if you want to use it i suppose there's also a communal shower somewhere we'll just go and check but um, yeah, the, the staff is very friendly. They just came and checked the tickets. I mean, coach 61, they said two or three coaches down that way is where the restaurant car is. So we'll go check it out real soon. Just wanted to kind of document this. Hopefully there would be nobody else in this cabin. So I'll have it all to myself, in which case I'll steal the top bunk. But if somebody shows up, then 
I'll stay on my bunk which unfortunately is the bottom bunk they only had the option to choose the cabin but not the bunk otherwise I'll always have dibs on the top bunk so yeah let's explore what's inside the train Also the room is pretty secure, they have these kind of nice key cards and they have a couple extra ones here too as well. So in case you are a small family so everybody can have a key card and you could use this to lock the door on your way out and then use it to unlock it on your way in. Also there is a charging port here so you could charge stuff and close to your bed too they have a alarm, one charging station, a nice night lamp and maybe some sort of radio and they already provided the bedding which was awesome because i wasn't carrying the bedding and i wasn't prepared for it but it's a nice arrangement you also have a nice view outside actually i was just checking out the menu uh, this is breakfast this is dinner actually for dinner they have a couple of pastas and falafels and stuff um, chicken pasta, pasta carbonara, falafels, uh, and some croissant drinks, soft drinks, etc. So they do have a bit more options compared to the day trains, but still, I mean, if you're expecting to have a food coma with this food, <laughs> you better carry some snacks for your own. So for the moment, there is still time. I mean, now is the scheduled time, but I think the train is about 10 odd minutes late or 15 minutes or so. So I'm just going to rest here once the train starts and I'll start walking around because hopefully by that time people would have settled in so I could start exploring what else is there on the train. So this is a common shower. I think you insert your keycard here then this door opens and then to use the shower. And then here are washrooms. Pretty big and spacious. So I just checked my ticket, it seems like I have the whole cabin to myself which is perfect during the pandemic because you don't have to share it with anyone. So I'm gonna take my top bunk and I went to the restaurant car, I grabbed a sandwich and then orange juice. Uh, I had some while I was sitting there enjoying the view outside. In case I forgot to mention, this train ride is about 11 hours long and uh, tomorrow morning around 8 a.m. we will be reaching Turku and then I'll switch to another mode of transport and continue the journey further because Turku is not the final destination it's just a junction where I'll be changing to a different mode of transport so I guess this is um, a good point to wrap up this vlog for the day uh, you saw I was doing uh, I went to the horse farm doing housekeeping stuff uh, showed you a little bit of my day and then I took a night train so this is gonna be a nice long ride to get to southern tip southwestern tip of helsinki to turku via helsinki uh, but this is the direct train so i don't have to change so turku is actually a nice junction for me and then i'll change to different mode of transport uh, although the connection time is quite tight so i don't know what adventures await me in the morning but i hope everything goes smoothly we'll see about that so i'm just gonna kind of uh, ease up take up my top bunk, enjoy a snack, watch something on my phone and then have a nice sleep to wake up early in the morning 
uh, maybe catch some nice views outside so stick you stay tuned uh, follow along for the rest of the episodes and in the next vlog i'll reveal where i'm headed and uh, you know see the adventures along uh, in the next episodes all right then uh, be sure to like share and subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you're notified as soon as the next vlog goes live this is rustic wanderer signing off from my long distance night train see you